Hey there, I'm Mike from Sword and Board Games, and this is Trailblazers from Ryan Courtney, published by Bitewing Games. This is an early review copy sent to me from the publisher. As you can see, this is not in any way, shape, or form finished. This is where the component should go. <laughs> but I did want to do an unboxing just so you can kind of see what it's like. This is almost the equivalent of what the Deluxe is going to be like up on Kickstarter in August. Uh, yeah, so I think it's time for me to open it. See, see what it's like. I do want to show you the back real quick. I am a I am a solo channel, so I do want to show you this. Solo gamers will also find much to explore here between the three addicting solo modes, including the 30 to 90 minute epic solo mode. Sounds awesome to me. Yeah, this is kind of along the lines of Sprawlopolis, where it's a tile tiling game, but to me, kind of on steroids based on the video I watched. Uh, there's not just one path, but there's three paths that you're going to be connecting. Oh my gosh. These are for the animal uh, expansion. A way to make your brain hurt even more. <laughs> this is awesome. This is a travel case. Yeah, it could all fit in here. I like that. Comes in a medium sized box, a small box, I, I should say. Uh, Cause look, look at all these animals, right? But you don't need to play with, with the animal expansion. You can just fit, fit the cards right here and the to go travel pouch. Okay, I guess I will open these up off screen cause I can't get, a, can't get it started. And yeah, these are the cards, little, I don't, oh, these are, wait, <laughs> this is plastic. Oh my gosh, it smells like the Too Many Bones PVC. Yep, that's PVC plastic. <laughs> that's awesome. But yeah, this is the, the crux of the game. You're, you're going to be laying tiles, uh, trying to connect. They can go in different orientations like that. They can overlap if you're not playing with the Animals expansion, I think. Because like if, if you had a, a cougar or mountain lion there or a bear here, you can no longer overlap. Yeah, so there's there's three different trails. There's what biking, hiking, and kayak to deal with, um, and these are the these are the player cards. Wait, okay, uh, this is different. I'll open this up. Okay, I don't know. Um, these backs are different than these backs, and I wish I knew enough to tell you why. <laughs> I haven't read the rules yet. I just watched one playthrough on YouTube. Oh, so these, what I, what I can tell just by using my oddballs is that this has all three trails and this has two types. Is that the difference? Is this like a harder version? Me thinks so. Anyway, they're all going to go in here. and fits almost perfectly, not quite, not quite. Uh, okay, so this is, okay, doesn't fit. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe they're supposed to go like this. I don't know, I'll, I'll ask and look. Next thing are these camps or shops. You have to connect your roads to these and if it like connects here, if it connects here, then it'll help you start again up here, maybe. Yeah? So that's another thing to it. Wait, are these? Yeah. These are PVC plastic, too. Oh my gosh, I'm getting uh, Chip Theory Games vibes right here. Yeah, that's plastic. I, this is uh, waterproof right here, folks. Okay, so these look like uh, extra bonus cards, end game scoring cards, most uncovered trail cards that display animals, little things to. to yeah, okay, look at that. Uh-huh. Yep, knew it. In-game goals. That's what I thought. Standard, so oh, solo mode stuff. Oh my gosh, different achievements, it looks like. A tenderfoot. If you get 50 plus trail length points. I mean, I should hold that so you can actually see it. 
uh, a Voyager, like Hikers Quartet. I don't know what that is yet. Uh, yeah, but there's uh, evidently a whole bunch of solo stuff. There's not a solo rule book here. It's all online. But yeah, I'm very excited to look at that. This is for this is the bike shack. We have a hiking gear shop, a kayak corner. More, 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 more. Okay, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Scorecard right here. Okay, pretty straightforward. The animals, let's look at these. Oh, look at that. Screen printed already? What? Well, yep, like that. There's the hiker, there's a biker, a kayaker. That's nice. Is a, is a, I live in Hawaii. I don't have a lot of these animals around me. Is this a, a moose, an elk? Uh, sorry about it. The game, this company is based off of uh, Arizona, so they have a lot more wildlife there. Is this a mountain lion, cougar? You know, not too sure. But I love Animeeple ever since I played Agricola. What's this? A uh, uh, eagle? I should just. I should probably stop guessing, huh? Here's a campfire. I knew that, right? Yep. Okay, yep, a wolf. And they're all screen printed on one side. That's awesome. What a pre-production copy. This is amazing. And a bear. You know, these are screen printed. I'm not sure if you can see it. Maybe I'll hold it up for you. Do my job. There's little brown streaks there, giving it some detail. Not sure if that shows up. Maybe I can zoom in, but look at that. That's that's amazing. Okay, that's it. I, I'm going to wrap this up because I'm very excited to play. Seems like this will be along the lines of Calico with very short amount of rules, but tons of depth. And uh, based on what I hear from all the solo modes, I'm excited to dive in. I'll be sure to tell you my thoughts. Look for that. Follow me on Instagram. Hit subscribe, like, subscribe on the YouTube channel, and uh, I'll see you next time.